Look. You look great. Well, Mum loved Red. She was found funerals so miserable, and she said that if she went, she'd want a party throwing. Feels more like the party's over, doesn't it? Laurel. Hi. Hi. We're not late, are we? No, no. We're ready. As I'll ever be. Gosh. <laughs> Got everything you need? Yeah, yeah, no, I think so. I've got right. my keys and she's gonna need you today. Sarah, turn that off, please. Sarah, I'm sick of this selective deafness when it's time to go to school. She's playing up because I've not got enough to think about. Uh, it's fine, I'll drive her. Just as soon as I've taken him to Lisa's. Yeah, you're ace. <laughs> yeah, and you're late, so come on, get your bag. So? Oh, nothing. Right, well, we've got the venue sorted, the music and the buns in. What about your dress? Oh, you sorted another one out, didn't you, babe? Yeah. Well, it's all in the bag. You know that, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, so what are you worrying about? It's going to be amazing. Are you ready, Uncle? Right. I'll catch you later, gorgeous. Right, come on, you. Are you bringing your tractor? Oh, yeah, he is. He's got that tractor. Come on, then. Oh. He just left. Have you told him? I will, OK, today. But listen to me, then me and you, we've got to go straight away. No, that's not going to happen. Now go on, then. Did you learn anything worthwhile? Oh, don't call the professional jealousy card just because I got a certificate. Certificate in managing fat pets. Should have been a certificate in narky vets, eh? <laughs> ah. Hello, Emma Dale, veterinary surgery. Oh, OK, um... Can he lie down? Do you think you can get him down to us? All right, OK, um, I presume you're up at home farm. Yeah, don't worry, it's not a problem. I'm on my way. All right, bye, bye. Is that Robert? No, Chrissy. Lockman's dog's not good. I'm suspecting bloat. Oh, God. Paddy? No, it's all right. You, you, you need to settle in, don't you? Seriously, I'll, let me go. Right, knock yourself out if you think you do a better job. Rona, if I'm not back in an hour, you just give us a quick ring. I that's what you wanted, you and me together. Put us running away like we've got something to hide. I'm not talking about forever, Ross. I'm talking about until the dust settles and until Pete's got his head round it. I can't. Well, what's changed? I just... I think we need to plan it better. Listen to me. This is killing me and he deserves to know the truth and when he does, we've got to go. We've got to give him some space. Can you imagine how Sarah's going to be about this? Look, we're going to need a place to rent, right? I've got no money, all your money's tied up. How long do you think we'll last? I can't do this for much longer. Look, all I'm asking for is more time. I want to do this properly, and to do that, we're going to have to have money behind us. I love you, you idiot. So what do you suggest? And don't you dare say trucks. <laughs> I wasn't. But I was going to say that you need to trust me. Please. Please. I think your expansion plans would benefit greatly from you attending the machinery convention. It's in Ripon, at the Yorkshire View Hotel. Ever heard about it? Um, no, can't say I have. I think you'd find it really useful. You know, it wouldn't do us any harm to have some representation there too. Quite, but I don't think I can spare you right now. Oh, so what exactly is it? It's a two-day jolly up for people in the business. It's useful for making the right contacts. Well, especially now you're looking for a car crusher. Plus, you might find someone who needs a scrapper. Look, I'll get you the brochure. I mean, has anyone seen my checkbook? Hey, What are you doing up there? Ah. I see you around. Dog's having words sick. I thought he'd been poisoned. And? Mm. Fine. Lucky dog. I'm so sorry, Paddy. That's all right. Here's the brochure. Oh, machinery convention. That looks dull. Hotel looks nice, though. Well, just as well I don't find it dull. Uh, also... I could introduce Aaron to all of our contacts. Well, makes sense, I suppose. I'll cover expenses. Well, have fun, boys. Are you sure you're okay to do this? Yeah, just don't leave me. Oh, thank God you're here. Uncle Len's threatening to do his one and only magic trick. 
with a mucky yankee. Oh, please, no. Welcome. We have a tea, coffee, vino, antipasto. Antipasto? It's a few olives and some exanis on a key of butter. Sickening. Nonsense. They are delicious. So, you are Doug's new lady friend? I'm Diane. I'm so sorry for your loss. Me too, me too. Hillary was a character. She was the love of my life. A lovely eulogy. Thank you. Love of his life? He'd only known her two minutes. I had 30 years with the woman. I know. You must be devastated. I know everything about her. Right down to it. All right, Dad, thank you. Come on, it's not a competition. Why don't you show me the garden? Come on, then. So, you must be Marlon. Anyone thinks she'd been hiding you from me. Well, it's not our fault you couldn't come to the wedding. This is my sister. Caroline, right, nice to meet you. Hmm? Feels strange being here with that man. Well, she was here last week. And the week before, you could have visited. Come and meet Auntie Phyllis. She is dying to have a chat. Lawrence is old school, so you just have to humour him. Hey, I'm happy to if he's paying for this thing. <laughs> oh, Paddy, thank you for saving Dog. You've no idea how attached Lachlan is to that creature. It's no problem. Actually, I meant to say, it's great what you're doing. Uh, you... Giving a lad like Aaron a chance. Oh, not at all. I mean, he won it on merit. <laughs> yeah, still, there's not many that trust him. What with his past and everything. It's just... Is there something? No, it's nothing. Just, just forget I said anything. Please, if there's something you think I need to know, I... It's just that he's volatile. Because of everything he's been through. Especially when he's under pressure. One minute you think he's committed, and the next he's pressing self-destruct. Don't expect too much from him. You seem ever so much better suited to our Laurel than that vicar ever did. Oh. She tells it like it is, don't you, Auntie Phyllis? Whether you like it or not. <laughs> is there a proper drink going? How are you holding up? OK. You know. I do. But we're all here for you. Auntie Phyllis, you remember Ashley? Hello again. Oh, oh I was just saying. What a shame your marriage failed. And you a man of the club. <laughs> I can't wait to get to her age. At least we've both found happiness again. Another drink, anybody? Yes. Mm. Sweet sherry, large. Laurel? Uh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Marlon, give us a hand. Don't think I don't know your little secret. Hmm? You and our Laurel. She's up the duff, isn't she? Whoa. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, no, you can't kid a kidder. She should be on a second bottle by now. No, seriously, you've got the wrong end of Oi, the... Oi, Dad, <laughs> why didn't you tell us Laurel's pregnant? Pregnant? Laurel? Oh, come on. She used to love a drink. She's been drinking tea like it's going out of fashion. Laurel is not drinking because... Because... Do you know what? It's no-one else's business. Caroline. I'm not drinking because I'm an alcoholic. And I'm not pregnant because we're splitting up. OK? Is everyone up to speed now? in this bedroom dreaming of bros. <laughs> Do you remember them? Hmm. They were dreadful. <laughs> I 
I thought it was all so simple back then. You know, you met someone, fell in love, got married, lived happily ever after. And then I lost Daniel. Everything changed. Do you know, I think the last time I slept in this bed was when I spit up from Ashley. Mum was incredible. Isn't it strange how, at the time, you never know you're doing something for the last time? Because that was the last time I hugged Mum. It's like hugging an ironing board. She was always so tense, but... Maybe if I'd known it was the last time, I'd have made it last for longer. She, she was just, you know, she was really complex, so... But she was still my mum, wasn't she? Someone I thought would always be there. You think the people you love will always be there? No matter how many people you lose. It's still me, Laurel. I thought they'd got through the worst of it. Mm, I thought so. Just, just look at him, preening. She's just sat having a sally like the rest of us. Saying in the eulogy she loved to dance and feel the wind in her hair. How ridiculous. Maybe she did. She hated dancing. She said she lost all her rhythm when she had a hysterectomy. Doug. And where's Hickmondwick? Couldn't even pronounce the name of the town she were brought up in. It's called Hickmondwick. Where's our Laurel? Still upstairs sulking. She's not sulking, Caroline. She's just announced she split with her husband and buried her mother all on the same day. Well, that would be the same mother I've just buried. Except I'm left to do everything as per. I'll go and give her a hand. Thanks, Ashley. She, she's always been so resentful. Just look. She's barely cold. And is using a funeral buffet as a launch pad to snare a merry widow. Doug, pet. He can't help himself. Doug, you're going to have to confront this at some point. Confront what? You want a job on the farm? I told him he's got no chance. But he won't have it. Auntie Moira is the boss, not you. Why here? And why now? You know. Well, he's up to something. He's probably trying to lie low. Actually, I just need a bit of time away from the garage. Why? Who are you trying to avoid? But can't you see? He's trying to play us. OK, here's the deal. I'm going to give you one chance only. Nice one. Why would you? Because he's family, Pete. But if you so much as put one foot wrong... No, I won't. Scout's on her. Pete, go and get him some overalls. Unbelievable. You know why I'm doing this? Well, you know why I need it. He can't even go there, bless him. He'll have no choice. Eventually. I'm so sorry, Marlon. After everything you've both been through. Thanks for being there, Corey and Diane. Safe journey home. Are you sure you don't mind me staying on for a bit? It's just that I can't leave Caroline to sort Hilary's things out on her own. And I don't trust that Alberto. He'd have this house stripped in a heartbeat. He's a nice enough man. And he's grieving too. For what? Meat and potato pies? Someone to put a nice crease in his shirt? 
We were married for 30 years, and only six nights apart. Till things started getting rough, anyway. We used to be inseparable. I'm sorry. Go on. What's the point? I still grieve for Jack. We met at work. I was an apprentice and she was a secretary. I was only 18 and I plucked up courage to ask her out. I used to leave a club biscuit on the desk every day. <laughs> She said she only accepted out of pity, but we had many happy years. For long enough, I didn't know where I ended and she began. And then we lost Daniel. What do you do with all those years, all those memories? Carry them with you. She loved you. She loved her Italian stallion. I was on a dressing table. I wasn't snooping. I was looking for my coat. <sighs> oh, yes. Never said goodbye. <laughs> I wanted to be a vet once, but then I grew my nails, thought better of it. Yeah, it's not good if you like nails <laughs> at all. Just go and order. Oh, what do you have? Plowman's? And by way of apologising for this morning, you're both coming to lunch tomorrow. So is there anything that I need to know? Um, well, we eat anything, really. Including animals? Well, not usually our clients, but anything else is fair game. Great. Well, we'll look forward to it, won't we? I'll do whatever I'm told. Lunch tomorrow. Our treat for messing this lovely couple around. Can't wait. <clears throat> Ugh, it's a bit last season, darling. Well, you do what I tell you, when I tell you. Or when Auntie Moira tells me. Look, don't push me. Be out there in five minutes. Yep. So, come on, what have you got to tell me? Well, I've got a job up at their place, just like you asked. Good, and you know what you're doing? Well, I reckon it's going to take a bit of time. They're pretty tight. Well, you do whatever you have to do, OK? Because I want them as far apart as possible by the time I get out of here. I don't know, make them hate each other if you have to. And then you forget who the daddy is. You stick to your side of the bargain. And I'll stick to mine, all right. Put the kettle on. You hungry? They're making olive jabatas. <laughs> you did so great today. Sorry if I embarrassed you. You didn't. You didn't. I was dead proud of you. Really? Marlon, thank you. For what? I couldn't have got through any of that without you. So, lunch. What fun we'll have. We could play Pictionary. I could draw you up to your neck and grain, scrambling about. Stay away from me. I'm not interested in you. Yeah, we all know who you are interested in, don't we? Cancel lunch. What? There'll be hell. Worse than that, you and your little wife will bore me to death. Do you think I want to be there? So, cancel. Lie. Accidentally inject yourself with horse tranquilizer for all I care, so long as you stay away. Okay. Mm. Hey. 
were so good together, weren't we? In the beginning. I'm sorry, I couldn't be the wife you wanted. I'm sorry things got so messy. Well, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't yours. Tried. <laughs> We really did. That was the last time, wasn't it? At least we're aware of it. I'm so very sorry, Laurel. I'm sorry too. You're drunk, and I'm not scared of you. <laughs> yes, you are. I can see it in your eyes. Well, that's all coming up on Coronation Street next. And we're back with the newest Bobbies on the Beat later as all new rookies continues at nine.